Hey guys, it's Stas here. Today we're going to be looking at some flavour analysis of different malts. So today I thought I'd take a look at some base malts uh, that I've been kindly sent from Bierco. Um, two from Gladfield, which is a New Zealand maltster, and four from Crisp, which is a new range that they've started to import in from England. Let's have a look at what we've got. So we'll start with the crisp, we've got the best ale malt, number 19 Marisotto. This is a floor malted variety. We've got the just the standard Marisotto, which is all which is a modern, say the same barley variety, but not floor malted. I'm pretty sure this is what I've what it is based on what I've read. And the Chevalier uh, malt, which is a different uh, variety. It's, it's a narrow kernel two row variety, I'm pretty sure that's right. I'll put any corrections up. And in the Gladfield range, we've got the ale malt and the American ale malt. So let's get started with the um, flavor analysis. Now, the way I'm gonna do this, excuse me, the way I'm gonna do this is by using the Brees hot steep method, the ASBC method. I'm not really gonna tell you how to do it, I'll leave a link below, there's a really good video that Brees did, but basically you need a thermos, some funnels, some hot water that have, that's been treated for chlorine. It says to use distilled water, but for this purpose I'm just going to use the same sort of water that I use for brewing. So let's get started. Alright, so the first two cabs off the rank. I was going to do all six. It's taken about two hours to get to this stage. Uh, it's just a slow filter. But anyway, in the left corner, your right corner, we have Gladfield Ale Malt. In the right corner, your left, we have Crisp Maris Otter. This is the non-floor malted variety. So a little more of the uh, Maris Otter, but that's just because it was it had a head start. So side by side colors I and mean, this isn't the best light but they are very very similar it's like a straw color um, slight yellowy tinge um, very clear as you can see both samples let's go in for a smell I'm getting sweetness a bready cookie dough like a cru like crust of a, a bit of a sweet bread yeah let's compare it quite feel that malt it's not as strong as this one This one's much sweeter. Still very similar characteristics. This is probably just a little less intense than, than this. Still that sort of, you know, crusty, crusty bread, slightly sweet. Almost like a kind of a tiger loaf, if that makes any sense to you. Alright, let's go in for a taste. Maris, uh, crisp marisotta first. I'm getting like um, grainy, um, biscuity um, flavours. Um, a little bit of a I'm not sure if it's like a dryness or a slight um, bitterness from the, I'm, I'm guessing it's the husk. Yeah, just nice sort of toasty, crusty bread. I mean, it's obviously sweet. It's unfermented, but... Mmm, okay, nice. Let's go to Gladfield.
this is probably a little smoother. This has got a bit more of a, a graininess, less so than bread. <clears throat> I mean, this still has all the same flavor characteristics. This one just seems to be a bit more bolder, um, a bit heavier maybe. But yeah, it's interesting. Color is almost identical. The flavor profile is very, very similar. Um, but the Marisota just seems to be a little more fuller than the Gladfield Ale Malt. And yeah, just that, that crusty, you know, when you get like a fresh, freshly baked white or light bread with that sort of slightly sweet crispy crusty outside it's kind of that that sort of flavor anyway i'm going to make some notes uh, on dr the draft lab app which i'll probably do a separate video on rather than take you through it here um just so i can try and get a catalog of what's going on here so uh yeah stay tuned for the next two all right guys we're back it's the next day in case you can't tell we have another two sets of malts to try. This is Gladfield American Ale Malt, and this is Crisp's Best Ale Malt. Uh, now, in terms of color, uh, it, I don't have them side by side, uh, but these do look a tad darker than the previous ones. Um, but anyway, let's go for a smell. This one doesn't smell as sweet as the um, ale malt. Okay. Very uh, much more bready, not so crusty. Like sweet bread crust. Oh, in my nose. <laughs> Yeah, a lot less sweetness. Uh, it's just a bit of malt character, a bit of like um, fresh bread. A little bit, a little bit of sweetness malt. All right, I'm gonna go in to have a taste. This is the Gladfield Ale, uh, American Ale Malt. It's, yeah, it's like a toned down version of the Gladfield Ale Malt and the Marisota. So it's just a bit more, uh, a bit subtler. Again, getting bready characters, uh, not so much that, that crusty, uh, malty, um, slightly sweet taste. It's fairly neutral in terms of a, in terms of a base malt. Um, American ale malt is often used if, if you find that um, ale malt's a bit, bit too malty. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, less sweet than the Gladfield ale malt as well. So this is the crisp best ale. It's got a slightly different aroma to this one. You still get that bready character, but bit more like a, it's not very strong, but it's a, like a hint of, maybe a hint of sourdough or, or rye. Very, very faint. Yeah, but again, it's, it's much more subdued than the Marisotto. Mm, this one's got much more of a, um, like the husky, the slight bitterness from a husk. It could be tannins, I'm not sure. I'm only talking really, really slight. Um, this is probably sweeter than this one.
they, they're very very similar this one's got a hint of yeah just a, a hint of uh, not sourness uh, it's but it's like that um, a bit more of a husky um, almost hay like The Chris Best, Best Ale's got a really nice character, but I think the Gladfield American Ale would be a much more neutral base model. We're, we're splitting hairs here, um, but this is this is what this is all about. Um, really getting to know the differences between uh, the malts, and also you know evaluate batch to batch, or if you're looking for a substitute, um, this is what this uh, hot steep method is all about. So. Yeah, I'm going to continue and uh, write some notes up on these. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, analysis using the ASBC slash Brees hot steep method. Um, we've looked at the Gladfield American Ale Malt, the Crisp Best Ale Malt, the Crisp Maris Otter, and the Gladfield Ale Malt. Big thanks to Beer Co for sending me uh, samples of these grains and for helping me do the videos. Uh, if you want to uh, ask any questions, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, two more crisp uh, ale malts, the floor malted Maris Otter and the Chevalier in a later video. If you want to um, ask any questions, leave a comment down below. If you head to the store, link down below and use the coupon code CRISP. Uh, you'll get 10% off one-time purchase uh, on anything in the store. So, until next time, this has been Stas from Stas Brewing. I'm going to go and enjoy the subtleties of these malts. Cheers.